Great morning, Commanders fans. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I had a great weekend, especially with the Giants losing and the Seahawks losing, getting upset by the Panthers. The Giants got blown out, man. Look, we got to take care of business on Sunday night. You saw the blueprint. I know the Eagles are a different team. Jalen Hurts is a he's a he's a running quarterback. He can throw to. Now I got to give credit to Jalen Hurts, man. He he looked good. They he threw a touchdown on fourth and seven to Devontae Smith. He ran all over the Giants. I mean, he, he's playing at an MVP level. He seriously is an MVP candidate. But the Giants, they they did. They looked like they checked out. They looked like they checked out. But you you never know because of course when they play us, they always get it for us. Daniel Jones wants to play like he's he's a like he's a good quarterback. He runs all over us. So you can never sleep with the Giants. Saquon Barkley, after losing, he said, they asked him, are you going to be ready for next week? He said, they're going to be ready for next week. So it's going to be a big game, but we got to take care of business, man. This, the Giants is a game that we should win, that we really should win. Just got to go out there and do it. So, I mean, the Eagles took care of business. It was like 41 to 21, 48 to 22. It, it, they, they skunked the Giants in New York. Jalen Hurst, two touchdowns, 217 yards. Miles Sanders, 17 carries for 144 yards. They blocked a punt. They just kept attacking the middle of the Giants' defense, and they kept running on the edges. We have to attack their edges. A lot of outside runs. I mean, Brian Robinson did a good job. Gibson was okay. John Allen had a couple. John Williams had a couple good runs. But we really have to attack the Giants' edges. That's their weakness on their run defense. We gotta attack their edges. We gotta run a football, smash mouth football. We gotta put them. We gotta put the nail in the coffin. See, that's the difference with the Eagles and us right now. And, and Taylor Heineke. They, we were up 10-0 to zero against the Giants. We have to put our foot on the next. We have to smell blood. We have to put the nail in the call. And see, Heineke missing Logan Thomas, that was a big miss. It could have been 14-0. The Eagles, you know, they didn't, put, they didn't play around. They didn't fool around. They jumped out to an early lead. So my key to victory this week coming up for my preview video is get out to that early lead, start quick, start fast, because the Giants will fold. They will fold. They have a lot of injuries. They don't have a lot of guys to put out there. They don't have a lot of backups to put out there. They are basically playing a lot of their backups in the secondary. We have to start fast and finish them off early. Have to start fast and put the nail in the coffin. So when we get, if we get out to another 7-0, you got to get touchdowns and not field. We got to finish in the red zone. So that's a huge key. So I'm gonna just look at the win probability here, and then we'll, oh, this, this is gonna be a quick video. So the um, the Niners they beat the Bucks. That didn't really matter with us, but. Um, we now have a 74% uh, playoff probability. Entering today was a 60, it was 69. Entering yesterday was 69%. With the Giants losing and the Seahawks losing, it went up to 74%. The Giants win prob playoff prob probability now is 53%. Now we are the sixth seed instead of the seventh seed, so we jump from the eighth all the way up to the sixth. And if the playoffs started today, we would be playing against the 49ers. Brock Purdy looks good. The Niners' defense is legit. They took care of Tom Brady. They really did. They they skunked them too. Brock Purdy looks legit. Now, I know the people calling for Sam Howell. They're going to be like, oh, you get Brock, Brock Purdy ready. He's a rookie. I get that. But right now, you got to stick with Taylor. He's 6-1-1. One one. I would not pull Taylor unless he goes out there and throws two or three interceptions and we lose. You don't pull the quarterback who brought you here. We're not here. If, it's not, if it wasn't for Taylor Heineke, we would not be here. We would not We would not go on that 6-1-1 one one run. Say what you want to say about Taylor. The turnover-worthy plays. The, the arm strength. Say what you want to say. The guy, he wins games. That's all I'm going to say. He finds ways to win games. He finds a way to evade the rush. That fourth and four against the Giants. That Colts pass to uh, Terry McLaurin over Stephon Gilmore. Whether you think it was all Terry or not, I wasn't seeing that from the previous quarterback. I just wasn't seeing that. And Terry uh, uh, Heineke, he makes this offensive line better because he's not sitting there getting sacked. So Sam Howell, that's the only concern with Sam Howell. Is he going to get happy feet? Is he going to get sacked behind this offensive line? Is he is he you know is he is he just gonna get too happy rattled? He has a turnover worthy plays in the preseason too. There were the Panthers that preseason game they dropped at least two picks and I love Sam Howell. I'm a big Sam Howell fan. I think he was the best quarterback in that draft class in my opinion because I, I, it was him and Kenny Pickett to me. But Brock Purdy's looking good. Um, the guy for the Patriots is looking good. I forgot his, what's, what's the guy's name. I can't remember his name. But he came in. He looked better than Mac Jones. Bailey Zappi. So rookie quarterbacks have looked good so far. They have. They've looked pretty good. So I, I get the argument, but right, you gotta stick with Taylor Heineke. Um, the Seahawks right now, their their playoff probability is forty two percent. They play the Niners. That's a loss for the Seahawks. They play the Chiefs. That's a loss for the Seahawks. They play the Jets. I can see them beating the Jets. The Rams. I can see them beating the Jets. So they would end up being nine and eight finishing up. And us, I have us beating the Giants. The Browns don't look good with Deshaun Watson. They lost two in a row. The Niners. That's going to be a tough one, to be honest with you. So if I had to predict, I would have us going. The Cowboys, who know? They, they could be resting their starters. They should have lost to the Texans. So we'll see. I could I could see us being 10-5-1 or 9-5-1. I, I think if we get to 9-5-1, we'll at, at worst 
have the seventh seed. Now, you look at the Giants' remaining schedule. They play us. That's a loss. They play the Vikings. That's a loss. They could beat the Vikings, to be honest with you. They, they, they play at the Vikings. That's a loss. They play against the Colts. Don't sleep on the Colts. And they play at the Eagles. The Eagles could be resting their starters, so they could end up 9-5-1. and one, And we would win the tiebreaker, obviously, right there. So the odds are certainly in our favor. Don't sleep on the Lions. They're 6-7 and seven right now. Their uh, playoff probability is 21%, but they're playing good football. They're playing good football. So they could fool around and end up being 10 and 7. You just never know. They're playing good football. So those are the odds right now. Um, there's another stat uh, that I was looking at. The Commanders are 73% to make the playoffs. The Giants are at 44%. If we, if the Giants win, they jump to 85% of win, uh, playoff probability, probability, and we fall to 34%. If we win on Sunday Night Football, we jump to 89%, and the Giants fall to 25%. Another thing, Debo Samuel. I hate to see injuries, but he was carted off the field. So that's something you got to look at for the next four games. So we'll see if he's there or not. But even without him, Christian McCaffrey, he's the real deal. Ayuk is the real deal. Purdy looks good, and their defense is legit. So can't bank on injuries. And like I said, I'm not I'm not looking forward to injuries. I want to play every team full strength. The Cowboys, that last game of the year, they may be resting their starters. Who knows? But I want to play them full strength. I want to play against Dak. I want to beat Dak. I want Terry to get his revenge on Trayvon Diggs. I want to see all that happen. So uh, I want them all to be healthy. So that's about it, man. Um, good weekend for us. We are now the sixth seed. Um, like I said, it would be a tough matchup against the, the Niners, but we just got to make that game ugly. If it's against Brock Purdy, or, or um, it probably will be against Brock Purdy, but we just got to make that game ugly. It's got to be a smash mouth, 20 to 17, 17, 14 kind of game, and that's in our favor. So we'll see what happens. But uh, recap of prize picks, unfortunately, Darius Slayton was at 42 yards receiving. His over-under was 46 and a half. I picked him to go over, but Jalen Hurts easily got two touchdown passes, so we did, I did hit on that. So we were one for two, but I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna give out some picks. I wanna give out some NBA picks. I'm gonna give out some NBA picks in the community tab tonight. Definitely use my promo code. You get 100% deposit match. It's Real Ed Oliver. Use the des description link down below. Download the app. Use my promo code, Real Ed Oliver. You sign up, get 100% deposit match. So, all right, you guys, you guys, let me know what you guys think. How you guys feel about this Giants game? Hell's Commanders. Peace.